welcome back students today we are moving on the question number 6 from exercise 1.4 here this is the sixth sub question from question number 1 and here we have given x is equal to p plus 1 upon p bracket raised to a and y is equal to a raised to p plus 1 upon t so in this we have to find the value of dy upon dx so what we have to find dy upon dx that we have to find here so very first in this we are differentiate x and y both with respect to t here so first differentiate x and y with respect to t so see what we get dx upon dt is equal to d by dt of p plus 1 upon t and bracket raised to a so by the power rule here we can differentiate this like a in bracket p plus 1 upon t and bracket raised to a minus 1 into the d by dt of p plus 1 upon t now finally this derivative we have to solve here so that is equal to this part we write as it is a in bracket p plus 1 upon t bracket raised to a minus 1 and the derivative of this part the derivative of t is 1 here in bracket 1 and 1 upon t minus 1 upon t square this is the first derivative <laughs> or the differentiation of x with respect to uh, t here we find so this is the derivative of x with respect to x uh, sorry derivative of x with respect to t and we have given the equation number 1 here now similarly differentiate y with respect to t therefore dy upon dt is equal to d by dt of a raised to t plus 1 upon t we write like this now derivative of a raised to x that is a raised to x that means a raised to t plus 1 upon t as it is into log a and again again the derivative of d by dt of t plus 1 upon t here right now solve this derivative again similar to this so a raised to t plus 1 upon t into log a into the derivative of this part that is 1 derivative of t is 1 and 1 upon t is minus 1 upon t square this is equation number 2 here so this is the derivative of y with respect to t now we have to find dy upon dx so divide equation 2 by equation 1 here so let's divide divide equation or uh, two sorry two by one so here we write dy upon dt in cross multiplication we are taking the inverse of this that is dt upon dx is equal to now this part first a raised to t plus 1 upon t into log a 
in bracket 1 minus 1 upon t square total divided by this part that is a in bracket t plus 1 upon t bracket raised to a minus 1 in bracket 1 minus 1 upon t square. So in this way we write the division like this. Now here we can cancel dt with dt and here we cancel 1 minus 1 upon t square with 1 minus 1 upon t square. After this, this part we are writing as it is that is a raised to 1 plus 1 upon t into log a divided by now see this power is a minus 1. So this term we can like uh, see here. I will show you in another way. That is x if we have a power like x raised to a minus 1. Now see if we have a term like this x raised to a minus 1 can be written x raised to a into x raised to minus 1. Right. If we have a power x raised to a minus 1, so can be written as x raised to a into x raised to minus 1. So similarly, we write here this term like a into bracket t plus 1 upon t bracket raised to a in another bracket t plus 1 upon t and bracket raised to minus 1. So in this way we write this term like t plus 1 upon t raised to a into t plus 1 upon t raised to minus 1. Now this term we can take in the numerator. So what we get? This sign of power get changed here. So that becomes equal to a raised to t plus 1 upon t into log a into t plus 1 upon t right divided by a in bracket t plus 1 upon t bracket raised to t after this, we have to resubstitute the values. This here, the value of y, a raised to t plus 1 upon t. So in the, in the place of this, we can put y. So this is, in place of this here, we writing y here into log a in bracket. Now, add these two terms here so t into t t square plus 1 divided by t total divided by now see a in bracket t plus 1 upon t bracket raised to a so t plus 1 upon t bracket raised to a this can be substituted as a x so we write a into x now this t in the denominator can be written here in the denominator. So finally we write dy upon dx it is equal to y into log a in bracket this part here that is t square plus 1 total divided by a x and this t here we can write. So finally, we get the value of dy upon dx.